Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We all Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to tonight's presentation of Lakeside Lady Ram Basketball on Lakeside TV. I'm senior Max Story with fellow 12th grader David LaSalle, and we welcome you to this broadcast of tonight's matchup between your Lakeside Lady Rams and the Whitehall Lady Bulldogs. This broadcast tonight is brought to you by our sponsors, Reliance Bank, Rockstar Wellness Clinic, National Park College, and our game sponsor, Final Touch Roofing. We want to give a big thank you to Final Touch Roofing for being the 2023-2024 Lakeside TV basketball sponsor. Uh, in business since 2001, Final Touch Roofing Incorporated pleasures to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, stone, co stone coated, steel roofing, insulation, and serv services at fair prices. They provide free detailed roofing estimates on the same day for most instances. All roofing installations come down to a five-year uh, labor warranty, and they also assist with manufacturing warranties. Thank you again to Final Touch Roofing. Great company that is, Mac. So right now we're getting into the uh, starting lineup for Lakeside. Looks like we got uh, Amelia Rogers and Molly Reeves still on the bench. Two of the seniors for Lakeside. Well, you know, Lakeside's been off to a slower shot than usual. Uh, playing some tough opponents, and right now they have a 3-4 and four record. In their last matchup, uh, Lady Rams defeated Magnolia 75-68 uh, to 68 in a shootout. Uh, Lakeside can start off strong in conference play with a win over Whitehall tonight. Whitehall's currently 7-2 and on the season, beating Mount St. Mary's in their last game. They are a very high-powered offense, and Lakeside will need to lock in if they want to come out on top. David, what are some keys for Lakeside in this game? Well, you know, Mac, uh, in an interview that I had with uh, Amelia Rogers earlier in the day, uh, she was talking to me in that they have actually not watched any film on Whitehall. I mean, they've watched film on the offense, of course, but they haven't watched uh, film on on how they handle defense because Whitehall has not played a single team that runs man-to-man -man defense. Really? The Lakeside will be their first test of man-to-man -man defense, so we're going to see how that plays out for them. You know, coming into it, you know, they're pretty big underdogs, 3-4 and four against 7-2. and two. But I think, uh, you know, if we, if, we, if we knock down some good shots, I think Lakeside's going to have a good game. Uh, Good chance in this matchup. Kind of like the Titans and Dolphins matchup last night, David. Isn't that right? Yep. Big comeback in the end. So Whitehall wins the tip, but Lakeside's going to recover it. Williams with the ball. Top of the key. She's going to pass it to number 10. Dribble it down to the corner. Pass, but it's going to be picked off by Whitehall defender. Going to drive it all the way down. Easy layup for Whitehall. But they see the 1-3-1 one, one defense that Whitehall runs come, uh, playing it perfectly. Uh, double in Williams at the bottom of the key. Molly Reeves in the corner. Back up to Wilson. Reeves again in the corner. Three is no good off the front of the rim. Just a little short. Good, good close defense, tight defense by Whitehall there. Yep. Whitehall looking to get something going on offense after that fast break point. 
Shot is no good. Rebound by uh, Wilson again. Williams, excuse me. Williams going to take it up. Looks like she's going to be the point guard for most of this matchup. Good screen by number 10 of Lakeside. Rogers is going to take it down, pass it out to Reeves in the corner. She's going to put it up. It is off the rim. You know, it looks like Reeves maybe didn't know exactly where her feet were. She started a little over. Maybe she thought she was at that three-point line when she was just a little bit short. Still a close matchup here. Kanaya Barnett with the ball. Number 15 is going to drive, but it's going to be fouled. That was Marina Tucker. Apologies for any uh, Whitehall fans at home watching. We, uh, we don't have an official lineup for the ladies tonight, so hope, uh, hopefully all the names on Max Preps are correct. So Tucker's going to take two shots on the free throw line. First one is no good. Eh. Yeah, but you know, uh, Rodgers and uh, Williams, they, they've really led this team so far, haven't they? Yeah, you know, they, they've been the two most dynamic players on their offense, uh, scoring most of the team's points, be it really being the heart and soul of this team. There goes Rodgers with the ball right there, driving yep. down the court. Rebound by Rodgers. She's going to look for someone to pass to. Pass to 23 to Corey Wilson in the corner, looking to get something going with the first points on the board. But turnover by Amelia Rogers is, may turn into some points, and it will not. Still a fight for the ball. Whitehall's going to try and recover here on offense. Man, Whitehall has played some lockdown defense so far tonight. That's going to be a backcourt violation, lakeside ball. You know, with the, with the type of defense that Whitehall runs, you know, they're constantly doubling everyone. Uh, so it leaves a man open for lakeside, but if, if your double team's good enough, then they, they just can't see that open man. Yep. So Rogers inbound. She's going to give it to Williams. Williams looking at the top. Rogers finds Williams at the three-point line. Going to pass to the corner. Back to Williams. In the corner again. That zone defense for Whitehall is really working so far. So it's still going to be Whitehall's ball. Tipped initially by number two, Anaya Humphrey. But They're it's going to Trying to come up from behind that there and steal the ball from her. Like that, uh, that one Pelicans player. Uh. Oh, I yep. Oh, you know, man. You've seen I the do. Clips. I You've do. You've seen the clips. He he runs up right behind you. Would never su suspect anything, and steals the ball. Gets a wide open layup for himself. Inbounding for Whitehall is number thirteen for Maya Freeman. Pick and roll. Gonna try and find someone open here. Whitehall players gonna drive. 15's in the low post. Back to the corner. Wide open three for Whitehall is no good. Rebound and big foul on uh, Lakeside. Yeah, big foul by Wilson there. She did not want that ball to go up in the air. I mean, Whitehall, they haven't made a free throw yet, so I mean, it's not a necessarily bad foul. But yeah, it's a really, really big defensive game here early on, only two to zero yep. with a 5.28 left to play in the first quarter. And that just might be the game it is, you know, a low-scoring affair. Real quiet. Free throw is good. That's number three, Taniva Jordan. Jordan, second free throw is good. Makes it four nothing, Whitehall. Williams gonna take it up for Lakeside still. You know, this, this is a game so far where it looks like, you know, you gotta, you're going to have to knock down those free throws because it's going to be a, a good real, pass a real by tight Rogers. game. That was a good little play uh, set up there. Humphrey to Rodgers. Going to make it a uh, 4-2, Whitehall still. I mean, that, that, that's one of the upsides we've seen so far. Good screen by Whitehall. Three is going to be shot, but rebounded by Lakeside. Humphrey's going to get the board. Still Lakeside ball. Good defense there by Lakeside, not letting her get a clean three off. Rogers is going to inbound to Williams. So far, Rogers with the only points of this game for Lakeside with yep. her two. I mean, she's leading score. Humphrey in the low post. She's going to put it up. It is good. That'll tie it up here. So Lakeside We're actually uh, having some momentum right now. Real Pretty impressive good. shot there. You know, going up against a defender that's taller than her, but able to jump up high enough to get over her head and. 
She didn't ha lay a finger on it. Going to be another foul by Lakeside in the paint. Interesting, that ball almost went in. Yeah, I'm sure she didn't mean for it to be a shot. She knew she was getting fouled, but ended up hitting off the back of the rim, bouncing out. So no players in foul trouble right now, but uh, Lakeside is accumul accumulating a couple fouls. It's three so far. First three throws good. No more tie ball game here. Yeah, Lakeside, I mean, I, I, at least in the first half, they just want to keep it close and try and run away with it in the second half. So offensive rebound for Whitehall. They're going to pass it in. Uh, going to be recovered by Humphrey. Humphrey's going to go all the way, but she'll turn it over. Whitehall's uh, going to get it. They're going to try and get some points off the fast break. And it will be another foul on Lakeside. Well, you know, the, the, way, with the lay, way Lakeside's uh, getting all these fouls, you know, I don't think they have enough depth on their bench to make it through this game. Yeah, check the roster before the game. Lakeside only has 10 total players. So, you know, it's yeah. kind of they're a gonna next need, They're going to need each and every one of them tonight. Next woman up mentality. Yep. So, first free throw's no good. That's one thing. Whitehall's getting a lot of points at the fast break. So Lakeside might just want to slow it down here. And it's going to remain. Nope, it'll be Lakeside ball. Hey, you know, a little, uh, little controversial call there on who uh, was, who hit the ball out of bounds uh, last. But Lakeside's going to get the ball. Williams driving down the court. Yep. Leisurely to Rogers. Rogers going to look Over for someone in the corner. Nothing there. Pass back to Williams. The corner is open. She's going to drive, but it's going to be a foul on uh, Whitehall. Blocking foul. You know, Humphrey, though, she was just trying to drive to the basket there. He didn't, didn't want the open three that she had. Uh, went to drive. On the basket, could not make it. So the Corey Wilson is going to be inbounding here. See if Layside can draw up a special little play here. Screen to Rogers. She's going to put it up. It'll be good. That's going to give Lakeside the lead, 6-5, to five, early in the first quarter. Yeah, three, three Whitehall to finish down there in the paint. Uh, Rogers able to get all over all three of them. Yeah, Rogers doing a really good job here early leading the team. Drive by Whitehall is going to almost result in a turnover, but they're going to scramble it back up. Ooh, controversial block by Ava Allison. No, Williams always, almost had the ball while it was on the ground. Wasn't able to capitalize and grab it. Just a little butterfingers. That's five total team fouls for Lakeside now. They, they may actually be in some foul trouble. Foul trouble very early on. First free throw is good. Ties it up 6-6. Six, six. You know, whenever you have a close game like this, you cannot afford to foul and give them the free points that free throws could, could be for them, depending on how good free throw shooter they are. You know, it, you, don't, you don't want that to be the reason you, know, you lose a game like this. A real, you know, something you need to win for a conference opener. Yeah, Lakeside just playing their big, uh, excuse me, nice physical defense. Going to be a walk called on Wilson. Or Williams, Williams. Yeah, I keep doing that. I'm, I'm William and Wilson, you just can't get it oh, can you? Oh, man, can't what do you know? through your thick skull. Womp, womp. White House going to take it up again. In the low post to the corner. Picked off by Williams. She's going to try and drive it down, but she's going to slow it down instead of getting a fast break point. Foul called on Whitehall. Yeah, Whitehall defender tried to get the steal there. Just ran into it a little bit too hard. Foul called. Williams Williams going to get the B at the line, looks like. That foul was on Layla Adams, number 15, for Whitehall. Nope. Rogers going to inbound it. Reeves swapping out for number 10. Uh, that's number 10, Ava Allison. Williams still at the top of the key. Rogers to her left. Pass back to Williams. In the corner. Three is no good. Rebounded by Whitehall. Oh, a little scrap for the ball, and Lakeside's going to get it. Going to be a foul. Williams will go to the free throw line. Uh, wide open three right there for Wilson. Slightly contested towards the end. That's the exact kind of shot Lakeside's been looking for all night with this. Williams. He said Wilson. Yeah, it was Wilson at the corner. Come on, Mac. Were you not watching the game? Wilson shot the three. 
You're right. You're right. Miss you're right. Uh, Williams well, got okay, the. You, you, all right, all right. You're getting more confused with this than me. Come on. So the little guy. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. I, my eyes are just messed up right now. Yeah. So Williams is gonna drain the second free throw. Gonna give Lakeside the lead here. Now that's a lot of a lot of back and forth here. A lot of back and forth. You know, really close game. That what Lake, that's what Lakeside needs right here. You know, being the underdog. So number 22, Kandaya Barnett. She's gonna lead Whitehall right now. That's point guard. Rogers having some really good defense right there. She's gonna drive and it'll be good off the backboard. A little floater right there from the Whitehall player, number 22. Real good shot. So Rogers gonna drive now. Pass to Williams in the corner. Over to Reeves. To Williams. To Humphrey. Pass down to Millie in the post. Off the front rim. No good. Yeah, just double team once again. It's just the defense that Whitehall runs. Shot by Whitehall is no good. Rebounded by Williams. She's going to look to drive it down. Amelia's down there far, but she's going to take it in her own hands. Oh, right off Humphrey. Uh, Humphrey just wasn't ready for the ball right there. Hit it right in the neck. I'm sure they wish they could have that one back. So subbing in for Whitehall, number 10, Macy Lambert. It's going to be a timeout Whitehall here. Going to get their bearings straight. Oh boy. Well, we want to give another uh, thank you to our sponsor, uh, Palo Alto Roofing. They are our uh, basketball season sponsor. They first, provide. First time that's ever happened. Yes, basketball that, season very, sponsor. Very big. Very Final big. Touch Roofing. Very thank big. You. All right, uh, yeah, Final Touch Roofing, they pledge to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, and stone-coated steel roofing insulation and services at a fair price. They provide free, detailed roofing estimates. They provide free, detailed roofing estimates. What? On I've been looking for a free roofing estimate. On the same day in most instances. In most instances. Remember that. All roofing installations come with a five-year labor warranty, and they also assist with manufacturer warranties. Ladies so. and gentlemen, if you need a new roof, Final touch Especially roofing. Especially after the hailstorms. Did you, did you oh, hear that the other I, night? I actually did not. I, I believe I was asleep. Well, it woke me up. I'll yeah, right people now. were telling me about it. It's just terrifying. Good you know what it do to your roof. That's why you need final touch roofing. Yes, yeah. Thank you to Rockstar Clinic for uh, giving us that little transition. Yep. So White going to take the ball up after that uh, turnover by Lakeside. Drive by Barnett is no good, but she's going to be fouled. Ooh. Rough fall there to the floor for oh, whoa. number she's 22 limping. come up limping. Uh-oh. Not good. You know, she, she's handled most of the – she looks like this, she, she's their point guard. She's handled the ball for them for most of the game. Seems like her and Rogers are going to be two of the, uh, you know, captains of the night. Kind of yeah. like Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr, sir. Yes, yes. I've never seen Hamilton, but I'm sure it's great. I mean, they're not going to throw away their shot, but, you know, they still have to tell the story of the night. Hey, you could call them the Skylar Sisters, you know, uh, being a little trio. Uh, them, them two, and the basketball. Sure. Lakeside prepping for the rebound if she misses this shot here. So uh, Barnett still to shoot, second one. She made the first one. Can't forget that. But second one is missed. Rebounded by Whitehall, number 15. So it looks like Barnett's going to get another chance. She's going to pass it down to the paint. Going to be a walk call. That, that's exactly what Lakeside needs right there. You know, down by two. Uh, they, they, excuse me, I'm sorry. They, they need that to make sure they don't go down by double digits right there because Whitehall had the ball. Rogers to Reeve from the post, but it'll be out of bounds. Still Lakeside's ball. Number 22 on Whitehall, you know, doesn't seem like that knee's bothering too much anymore, you know. Let it stretch out for a little bit. Wilson inbound still. Pass to Humphrey. Humphrey looking over the floor. Picked off by uh, number 22 with Whitehall. It'll be an easy, uncontested layup. Going to make it 12-8, still Whitehall. Yeah, ball tipped there by the Whitehall defender and relayed right into number 22 for Whitehall's hands. Easy fast break layup. Reeves going to drive down the baseline. Rogers going to put up a three, and it is good. 
Nothing but net. Wow, we double team, but Whitehall, or excuse me, Rogers still able to get that shot down. Yeah, two two lady defenders in her face, not phased whatsoever. So Barnett's gonna drive, but it's gonna be airballed. Great defense by Rogers getting back from that amazing three point shot. Just you know, Lakeside's uh, playing some nice physical defense tonight. It's led to a lot of fouls, but sometimes like the. Like yep. that instance. Yep. Makes up that, for uh, it. Comes up big. So good job by uh, Rogers being a little two way player right there. She's going to look over to Reeves in the corner. Reeves going to put up another three. It'll be no good. Rebound by Humphrey. Good job by Humphrey just getting in that offensive rebound. Yeah, way to get the rebound and put it right back up. Yep. You know, she didn't have the height advantage on the uh, White, her Whitehall counterpart who's, uh, who was covering her right there. Yep. Still able to get the rebound on her. So Barnett at three-point line. Looks for a girl in the corner. Going to call for a screen with Rogers on her. She's going to pass to the paint. It'll be good. So just five seconds left in the shot clock. See if Lakeside can get something going here. Williams' shot is no good. So after the first quarter, Whitehall leads by one, 14 to 13. Good awareness there by Williams, knowing that the clock was about to run out. I didn't even know the clock was about to run out. Uh, but there she was, uh, taking the shot at the very end. I want to give a quick thank you to our sponsors once again. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park. Ready, Mr. Oh. Talk about the game. Get that little sideline action later. Uh, so, shot by Whitehall is no good still. Any, uh, uh, Rogers down here uh, with the ball driving down the court. So, going to be a foul called on Whitehall. And here we have a sideline reporter for the first time ever for a basketball game for Lakeside. Here he is. We're having to take uh, Williams right here, three free throw line. And knock down the second one. I want to remind you that Lakeside TV, uh, all these broadcasts are student run. Uh, so this isn't the ESPN type, you know, level. Uh, production. This but it's, it's, it's still very oh, good. Oh, yeah. No, but of course. But of course. But of course. Never forget. Let's not sell ourselves short, Mac. No, no. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, travel call on Whitehall. Barnett again. Mac, can you please explain the difference between a travel and a walk? I'm not all bas that basketball. Uh... Well, so uh, travel's when you take too many steps. And uh, uh, good job by Molly Reeves getting there in the paint, getting that little uh, little floater in. Very good job by Molly Reeves. Not a please, please continue explaining. So Barnett's going to take it up here. She's going to pass to the three-point line. Picked off nearly by Amelia Rogers. Coming down like Usain Bolt down the sideline. Man, I'm getting uh, some Great flashbacks. Great job by Rogers. Some flashbacks of Lakeside football. Yeah. Now what's the difference between a travel and a walk? So uh, Whitehall still to inbound here. 
in the paint. Going to be air ball, but Humphrey's going to get the rebound. She's looking for Rogers up court. She'll find Rogers. Rogers will put it up. It'll be good. Man, Lakeside's on a 5-0 run here, aren't they? Lakeside on their uh, biggest scoring streak of the of the night. Five five point lead might be, here, might biggest be lead seven, of the night for seven. either side. Might be seven. Ah, that's all right. Oh my gosh, good job by Humphrey, hugging that ball out. Man, talk about a farmer being refuted. So, uh, look, big paint game for Whitehall. Ah. Uh, Reeves nearly held the inbound, but she'll tip it off. Tipped out of bounds by Reeves there. You know, the tall, tallest individual right there in the paint. I mean, to get her hand on it first. You know, her mindset, you know, is just thinking that, you know, you'll be back. The ball, you know, she's still going to be on defense. That, the game's not over yet. Game's so, not even at half. Oh, but of course. All right, so uh, ball went off Whitehall defender. Uh, still Lakeside's ball. Or just now Lakeside's ball. Williams running down the court. Gives it to Rodgers. Gives it to Reeves in the corner. Reeves in the corner. <gasps> oh. Ooh, just off. I mean, you can see so far, Williams and Rodgers, you know, they're each other's like right-hand man. You know, they're, they're both leaders on this team. Kind of just the, uh, you know, deadly combo that Lakeside needs this year. Yes. Very deadly indeed. Yep. You know, if Reeves could have knocked down the three there, Lakeside could have taken a commanding seven-point lead. Seven point lead. Actually, it would have been eight points. I'm sorry. That's I don't right. know why right. I said hey, hey, seven. Th that's just college algebra. That's college algebra. So rebound off the air ball. Uh, Going to be still no good. Lakeside having a lot better defense. Not a lot of fouls so far in the second quarter as compared to the first. Rodgers for three. It is just out and in. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Rodgers going to get her own rebound. Just fighting for the ball. The hardy commit. Are you serious? I'm not gonna, that, ah, my bad. I thought it was a foul. <laughs> oh, boy. So, shot by Very Barnett's physical. Good. Wow. Physical basketball being played. Rodgers with the rebound again. Take it into her own hands. Wow. Talk about a winner's ball. Relentless. Relentless basketball play by Rodgers. Man. I mean, the Whitehall players, they're, they're helpless. I mean, they can't do anything about it. I mean, I, I know that Amelia Rogers, you know, the whole coaching. Oh, my gosh. A three. Bang! Whoa! Wow! Nothing but net once again. You know, the second three Rogers has made well, with, without hitting any rim. You got to be satisfied with the way Rogers is playing right now. I mean, she's playing on all, all ends of the court. Shot is no good for Whitehall. Still Lakeside ball. They're going to take it down court. Yeah, Whitehall's probably one of gonna uh, probably gonna want to spend the time out here soon. You know, Lakeside's got all the momentum I mean, coming just in here. All the momentum. Whitehall's not scored a point since being up fourteen to thir uh, to twelve on Lakeside. I mean, they're, they're bad to tell. They're bad to. Oh, I, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Humphrey, Humphrey to drive. It is no good. Just a little too much spin on it. I mean, this this is just the story of the night. Reprise. Turnover by Whitehall. Williams going to bring it back up again. Pass to Wilson. It'll be missed initially, but give it to Rodgers. Why not? Why not? Oh, my goodness. Three points there for Rodgers. You know, Wilson put a little bit too much spin on it, bounced off the rim. Rodgers right there to take it in and give herself a, basically a free two points. That's 14 straight points for Lakeside. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa. Just a, a dominant second. Oh, second yeah, point. Yeah, Whitehall with the timeout there. They knew. After Rogers scored that two points, oh yeah, it's it's time to they, take a they, break. They can't they can't wait for it. They can't wait for it. I mean, they have to take initiative if White wants to still have a chance this game. They, if they want to stay alive, if they want to stay alive. Yeah, you know, Lakeside, Rogers specifically really exposing this this zone defense of oh, Whitehall. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's um, saying, you know what? Put two people on me. I yeah. don't care. I'm gonna score right in your face. Kind of kind of like a one on one, like I don't know, like ten dual commandments. Like it, it's just a it's not even a fair fight. Yes. I mean, to 14 straight points. I, I, I'm getting word that's a 14 straight point uh, lead for Lakeside. Very impressive. It's actually a 10 point lead for Lakeside. Well, 14 straight points. Oh, 14 yes, run, yes, I, yes. I should say. I, I see what you're saying. I understand. I get what you're asking. So, Williams going to press it half court. Maybe force another turnover. Ooh, I thought it might have been a double, but they didn't call it. Barnett going to drive. No good. Going to be off Whitehall. Lakeside's ball. 
Man. You know, Lakeside's still playing that same physical defense, but uh, not, not drawing the fouls, playing, fouls, playing it a lot cleaner. Um, with how good Lakeside's playing in the paint, I mean, that, they want Whitehall to meet them inside. I mean, that inside the paint. Long pass there from Reeves. Another three for Rogers. Oh, my goodness! Whoa! Amelia Rogers, what are you doing? The rim is scared of Amelia Rogers. Oh, my I, goodness. I don't know if one of her shots has hit the rim yet, except for that in and out, of course. But, oh, man, she is hot right now off to a hot start. Oh! Nearly picked off by Rogers. Oh, uh, if Rogers would have picked that off, the place would have went wild. Oh, boy. Man. Why not missing the wide open three there? So Lakeside up by 13. Uh, halfway through the second Increasing quarter. their run to 17. 17 to nothing. Whitehall with the chance to get their first points. I mean, if Lakeside, can, quite just, a while. If Lakeside can just keep a little bit of this momentum going to the second half, that'd be enough. Whitehall finally ending their drought of points. Uh, Lakeside subbing in number 32 for Wilson. Yes, I mean, that's some of the first points of all this second quarter for Whitehall. It's just going to be one. But she's going to look. Oh, my gosh. Great block by Molly Reeves. Caught two. But a foul's called. Oh, I don't know about that. Man. That looked like pretty clean defense. She was she was on ball. I don't know. I mean, they're acting like she was out there just blazing guns and chips. But I, I don't let's think not, it was all Let's that. not say that on a school run broadcast. Well, I, no. I, it's a reference. It's a metaphor. Yeah. Well, you still said it. Oh. In and out. Oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> that oh was boy. close. Lakeside, uh, Lakeside looking to get another rebound here. In and out. Into the hands of Humphrey. I mean, Lakeside has not done a lot of subbing so far. Only players that come in is Molly Reeves. But, and number uh, 32 just now. Oh, that is correct. So, uh, Reeves, Wilson. wow. Blocking foul on uh, Whitehall. Good drive by Reeves on the baseline. Yeah, but the uh, only players that have subbed in for Check, one, two, check in the mic, one, two, check, 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 one, two, check in, one, two, check, 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 check. I mean, Amelia Rogers is having a really good first half. That is the uh, 17 points right now. That's what she averages in a game. So history, clear, history has its eyes on her right now. Rebound by Whitehall is going to go out of bounds. Still late side ball. I uh, just put a little bit too much heat on that ball. Man. Almost had it. Would have been a dagger. We would have doubled the score of Whitehall. Would have been wild. This place would have gone. The top would have blown I off. mean, this place is loud enough as it is. Oh, yeah. So Williams going to drive. And it'll be another great layup by Williams. Wide open lane right there in the middle of the court for Williams to just drive through. I mean, you could have you driven up one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Can you hear me over the Shot by Whitehall will be good. Ah, called a two-point two. basket. Can you hear me over the back there? <laughs> oh, oh, nope. Oh, They're going to call it a three. Check one, two. Check that one, was two. a three. She was in fact behind the back there? Well, uh, my, my view is kind of no, obstructing. Sorry. Ain't nothing wrong with being a passionate fan, Mac. Well, now, I'm a big history buff, and I, I, I would compare this uh, – game right now to the Battle of Yorktown just the way it's going so far you know Whitehall they came in here you know seven and two really good record the Lakeside they're coming in here you no know, you know, I'm sorry not to interrupt you Mac but what I'm just now noticing is that Whitehall has switched for, uh, to a man-to-man -man defense really yeah oh, but it does not matter against <laughs> Rogers <laughs> that, that is 19 points she, she she has more points than Whitehall oh my goodness it's like Christmas well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like that yet. I'm feeling jolly. Have her, ladies and gentlemen, at home. Christmas uh, came early, ladies and gentlemen. Happy I holidays. Uh, I spoke too soon. All right. Uh, hey. Good shot by. Good shot by. Take a chill pill. Yeah. Let's yep. regroup. Yep. 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 I mean, what comes next for Rogers? I mean, you've, you've done all this so far. 19 in the first half? And it's not even over? You know what I say? Knock on another one, make it 21. Why not? And you know what? Do it again in the second half and come out with a W. Oh, man. I mean, she's committed to Harding. I mean, her, her college interest is probably going to go up after these couple games. Probably going to get some letters, uh, you know, Birmingham College. 
Uh, Theodosia College, get a little institution. U of A. Oh yeah. Monticello. Well, all right. All the U of A's that are in Arkansas, they're So Williams going to take another drive. Another good shot by Williams. Just she, she's doing real good, just driving down the lane. There it is, Rogers and Williams. I mean, it's nonstop. You can't do anything about that. So Barnett clearly trying to take all the shots for Whitehall. No good once again. Look at that. Reeves, Reeves got the rebound and just immediately was like, here, Amelia. Let take, Rogers take cook. the ball. Let her cook. Oh! Who that let, is. Who let Rogers cook with 21. fire? 21. Count them. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh. Divided by seven, that's three. That's her number. Quick Makes match. sense. Makes sense. Still White House ball after that uh, out of bounds play. I mean, 15 point lead for Lakeside going to half. That's going to be real nice. Yeah, you know, just need to maintain their lead now. Oh, oh, wow. Hold on. Timeout Hold on, by guys. Uh, Lakeside. Uh, er, no, timeout by Whitehall, I believe. I mean, if you're tuning in, if you missed the, you know, beginning part of that second quarter, I mean, Lakeside, they were down by a lot. I mean, in. yeah, if you, if you turned on the broadcast at the start not. of the second quarter, You've been saying, "Oh, it's a close game," you but know. You'd ask yourself. I mean, you know, Whitehall might pull away with it, you know, because they're 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 the favorites. But you know, like that said, you know what Amelia Rogers said single-handedly. I mean, what did I miss? What did I miss? You know what? Not only am I gonna put 35 on you, but I'm gonna put 21 on you myself, which is one more than your whole team has. I mean, this has been a cabinet battle so far. I mean, I mean, let, let's not. Okay, to uh, Williams have oh, a yeah, great game. Oh, yeah. It's a team I mean, effort. It's and a team and listen, effort. listen, everyone on Lakeside is playing terrific defense. Yeah, yeah. Their man to man is locking down oh, yeah. Whitehall's offense. But, you know, Rogers, she's going to get a lot of the praise just because she's taking all those shots and, you know, making all the shots. Yeah, you know, she's, she's got the hot hand. So, uh, um, after um, Whitehall um, took um, that break, uh, they're going to get the ball on offense. Lakeside still just saying no to this, you know, blocking all their defensive uh, shots. Just real good defense so far by Lakeside, like you said. All right, so uh, Whitehall still to inbound. Pass back to Barnett. Bit of a different offense for Whitehall they've been running. Picked off by Reeves. She's just going to give it straight to Rogers. Rogers taking a step back, not going for the fast break. A little bit slower. Pace through Lakeside. Trying to run down some of, the, some of this clock, maybe. Good screen by Rogers. And looks like it may be out of, bound, out of bounds on Whitehall, but they're going to recover it. Humphrey just trying to drive into the paint there. Yep. Denied. So three point by Barnett is good. That'll make the lead 35-23, Lakeside. Yeah, oh, Whitehall wow. just trying to chip at chip at away at this lead before halftime, you know, make it a little more manageable. Three by Williams is no good. Rebounded by Whitehall. Scramble for the ball. I think it'll be a Whitehall ball, though. You know, not the smartest shot there by Williams. You know, you're probably going to want to chew down some of this clock to try and go in with your 15-point uh, lead that you have, now 12. Uh, yeah, Lakeside does not want Whitehall to get any momentum here. Because the momentum that you end the half with is the momentum that you come out of the half with. Yeah. So Reeves going to pick that pass off over to Rogers. Let's see what she can do here. Reeves Six with her second left. steal. Oh, overthrown. Uh, put a little Man. bit too much height on it. But still, 20, 21 points by Rogers in the first half. Yeah, I mean, three seconds left. N not much White all can do here this with is this one ball. Of the best. All right, well, well, well uh, I, I'll, we'll see what's going to happen here first. I want to see a full court shot. Right Barnett. Here. From half court. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh wow. That, that's as close as it comes. Yep. I mean, right now, what, y you you are watching a great performance by Amelia Rogers so far. But, uh, you know, with that underway, uh, we'll, we'll, we will be back after these halftime commercials. Uh, I'm Max Ford signing off right now. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, 
MSculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, MSculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. 
Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Well, um... He just stopped watching me. Go. Hey. <laughs> I'm Gray Smith and uh, live at uh, Lakeside Athletic Comp. <laughs> Score is 45 to 23. Um, the Rams are beating the uh, what, what, what? White, white all Bulldogs. Back to you, David Matt. All right, so uh, this second half, we want to thank Brady for giving us a little rundown uh, right there. So, nice little uh, interview right there, up there, it's in, it's the, uh, in the crow's nest. It's good to see, you know, different perspectives of uh, this game. Very nice. So, you know, coming back after that really great, second quarter of Lakeside, uh, you know, we, we really want to see if Lakeside can keep the momentum up here. Yeah, Lakeside really needs to hold on to this 12-point lead that they have, you know. Whitehall, very prolific on offense. Uh, they, it, it could be dangerous if they allow Whitehall to get a hot hand. Man. Whitehall's so, still in the uh, huddle. I mean, they they have to come out here with a different game plan if they want to still come out here with a win. Yeah, you know, zone and man defenses weren't working very well for them. Uh, Man working a little bit better than zone. Probably going to want to stick with that one. So, uh, Williams and Rogers still look to good. Oh, all right. Still look to be the main uh, lead. Don't team. matter. Don't matter. Good pass uh, to Rogers in the paint. Yeah, you know, if, if I'm talking to Wales coach right now, I'm telling him, listen, man, it doesn't matter what defense you run. You ain't stopping me, Rogers, right now. Yep. This is her so, night. That's 23 for Rogers. Man, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Can't stop it. Can't stop a dig to the shindig. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> Williams down the court. Yep, so Williams uh, and Rogers still leading as uh, two big guards, I'd say. So uh, picked it off pass for Whitehall. Trying to get some fast breaks point here. It'll be uh, up and in. After Took a little bibbity bounces on the bounces. thing. Just Double bounces, that's all right. Doom, doom, doom. Anyway, Rogers to Reeves in the corner. Reeves at back top of the key to Allison. Reeves again. Foul call on Lakeside. Yeah, number 10 there just bodied one of the Whitehall defenders. Hey, that's going to happen Couldn't sometimes. handle it. Knocked her straight to the ground. Uh, it does look like Whitehall's going back to their uh, their usual zone defense. Yep, yep. Double teaming anyone who has the ball. So in now is uh, Anaya Humphrey for um, Ava Allison. Two sophomores. Sophomore exchange, if you yep. will. This, this, this team's very young. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you, know, you have Rogers. I mean, Rogers and Reeves are the only seniors on this team. Yeah. And, you know, the that, that is right. The only two seniors. Uh, another point for uh, Whitehall right there. But, yeah, you know, uh, this is a very, you know, young team led by, uh, you know, a freshman freshman guard right now. Williams. Yeah, you know, they're, they're going to be losing a great one in Amelia Rogers next year. They're going to be really missing her. But oh, I yeah. think this team has enough youth on it yeah. to uh, come, come back big next year. Yeah. And, you uh, know, really for the next – Two or three years, you know, at Lakeside, they're going to have a pretty good uh, girls' basketball program uh, because Williams, you know, she'll be leading the way. She'll have a lot of experience. So, uh, yeah, just how, how they can kind of revolve around that, them, I'd say. Yeah. Not sure uh, what we're pausing here for. Little confusion. Oh, I believe it's the scoreboard. Something's up oh. with that. Scoreboard. Um, Whitehall here with the inbound. Baloney. Over to number 15 in the corner. Air ball, but good pass to number two. Excuse me, number three for Whitehall. Good awareness there by number three from Whitehall. To Niva Jordan. Playing a little bit like Amelia Rogers right there. So Williams getting double teamed. 
fighting for the ball. Timeout taken by Lakeside. You know, Williams yep. just overwhelmed with the pressure timeout. from Whitehall defense, double teamed. Lakeside's going to get get their bearings straight, you know. They're starting to give up that lead slowly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Lakeside, they, they, they might have lost a little bit of the momentum, you know, coming out of the half. Yeah, you know, you can't, you, they cannot you lose that momentum. Going against a great team like Whitehall. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Whitehall, they really want to capitalize on uh, all Lakeside's mistakes. So that, that's just going to be something here to watch. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. we're back to basketball. Well, not yet. But. Well, close enough, Mac. Oh, Humphreys right. here on the inbound. To Williams backing up way far deep. So uh, Rogers and Williams going to be at the oh. top of the key. Number four is going to pick it off. And she'll drive. She'll miss the uh, initial layup. Another missed layup, but a foul is going to be called. Uh, two shots for number 22, Barnett again. You know, Whitehall lucky to get, get out of there with the foul. Two missed shots on the layup. You see some of the uh, JV boys in the background. Wally Walcutt, uh, Millie Rogers' brother, and uh, Doak Douglas. You know, basketball apparently runs in the Rogers' blood. Mm -hmm. Very tall family. I'll, I will say that. Good genes. Very good genes. So Barnett back at the free throw line. And she's going to knock him down. And, uh, you know, this is getting pretty close here for Lakeside. You know, like, they got the basketball genes, but we got the football genes, right? We do. I, I, well, we, we can talk about football later. Sorry, sorry. Next, next, next moment we have uh, as a break. Oh, wow. Blocking foul called after Humphrey's going to drive. Humphrey's going to go to the line here. Two free points. She can knock them both down. Yeah, th these would be uh, Lakeside's first points of the second half. So kind of off to a, a slow start like the first quarter. They would actually be the second points of the oh, sec yeah, second half because Rogers that's had the, uh, that's the layup. That very first layup, that's right. My apologies. Oh, boy. So Humphrey's free throw. No good. Not, be, not able to come away with either of those right there. That's, a, that's tough for Lakeside. Yep. So Lakeside's going to be back on defense here. Barnett's going to drive. She'll miss the first layup. Initially rebounded, but blocked by Amelia Rogers. Still Good job by number ball. 15 right there for Whitehall. Able to stay in bounds. She was walking the line, tiptoeing. That's 15, uh, Marina Tucker. Good job, Marina. Her and uh, Barnett, they're some of the... I, I would call them the little combo that Whitehall has. Whitehall in the corner, but she's going to drive. Oh, my gosh. What a block by Reeves that they're going to call a foul. She was absolutely de denied. I, like, <laughs> oh I mean, it may man. not have been legal, but, I mean, that was still ruthless. I wish we could get a replay of that. That was ruthless. Uh, ferocious, if you will. <laughs> Shout out to my boys on Malvern. Also, speaking of Malvern, Jalen Dupree won the uh, Arkansas overall football player of the year. Yeah, you know, uh, the All-State and All-Conference teams came out. Uh, and uh, guess not who the made it on the All-Conference team? Not the brag. <laughs> Both but me uh, and Max Story made it onto the All-Conference team. As uh, well as Dave LaSalle. So, well, I said uh, me and Max Story. Oh, I am David LaSalle. So, yeah, I mean, uh, two all, you have two All-Conference commentators and an All-State holder in your presence right now. Yep. We had, uh, like I said, had a total of six All-State players, which is one step above All-Conference, uh, the most most by Lakeside in many years. Yep. It's going to be a travel call on Lakeside. Yeah, I mean, Lakeside's had a pretty pretty good football season, let's say. You know, uh, lost to Pine Bluff. Uh, not, not how you want to end the season. But Coach Rock was a finalist for Coach of the Year. Yeah, you know, turn a 2-7 turn a and seven program around to 8-4 and four in second round of the playoffs. Pretty uh, big. That's, that's big. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty. It is the start of the rock here, here at Lakeside. Pretty good. So, I mean, Whitehall, they're off to a great run right now. Uh, you know, it's only a four-point game. Reeves in the corner. She's going to drive. Man, a Foul charge. On Reeves. You know, Lakeside needs to figure out something new to do here on offense. They need to start scoring some points. 
Or locking down on defense, either or. But I mean, uh, they have not found anything here in the second half. Another foul. Man, these She's fouls. She's gonna are, go to the line. Fouls are really killing uh, Lakeside right now. Yes, they are. Kind of like penalties for uh, football. Yeah, I think they're the Drive same killers. thing. And that would be Drive right. killers that they are. I guess possession killers would be the word for yeah for basketball. Apologies yep. to the folks at home if we offended anyone. Our basketball etiquette. We uh, are not basketballers. Well, basketball. Okay. All right. But we are basketball enthusiasts. Uh, uh, you, Especially you, for the Lady Rams. We'll be the voice that. of the Lady Rams for yes, the rest of the will. year. So get ready. With we, Rogers getting another rebound. We are much better than Lucas and Parker. All right. All right. Uh, Rogers is going to take it back up again. Pass to Williams. Back to Rogers. Ooh. Does a little spin move. She's going to drive to the lane. Good shot by Rogers. Gave her 25 on the night. That's first first point to put an end to Whitehall's run that they've been on. I believe this may be uh, a Rogers high this year. Barnett's drive is no good. Pass to Williams. She's gonna look down court. She's gonna take it herself. Oh my goodness! What a layup by Williams. That is what Lakeside needed there. A quick four points. Off of some quick little drives. Did, did, you, did you do your launcher, David? Because that was a spin cycle. Oh, my goodness. That was nasty. What a great analogy. You're welcome. Oh, whoa. That's going to be a walk. Or a walk or a travel match. All right. Uh, but it's going to be late size ball regardless. So, um, okay. We're just trying to keep you entertained. So uh, Williams back with the ball. Lakeside finally getting some momentum. Momentum. Oh, whoa, whoa! Going to be a uh, foul charged by Millie Rogers. Not sure how many fouls she has on the night. I think it's only two. So no foul trouble for her right now. Yeah, scoreboard kind of, or the goalpost kind of blocking the scoreboard for us. Can't see how many fouls she has. Lakeside does not does not want her to get in foul trouble. Though. I want to apologize for any. Uh, Previous statements made by my partner Dave LaSalle about anybody else uh, of the Lakeside TV uh, what program. Did I say? Program. What did I say? Oh wow! Oh my! What a uh, might have been a flop by uh, Whitehall, but as I was saying, we want to apologize for any comments that were made. Um, what did I say? What did I do? All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh boy. Uh. So. Uh, Whitehall to take a couple free throws here. No, has Lakeside, Lakeside has not called a timeout, have they? No, they have not. Saving them for later in the game, you know. This looks like it's going to be a pretty close game up towards the end, so you want to yeah. save those timeouts. You uh, viewers at home, get ready for a really good matchup right now. Following this will also be the uh, men's game, boys' game, I should say. Uh, so look forward to that game as well. Yeah, it's going to be commentated by our... Uh, or opposites. No, just our just evil twins, if buddies. you will. Calm buddies. Just, Lucas uh, and Parker. Lucas Tuberville and Parker Hudnall. The football commentators. They're back on the mic. Reeves yeah, yeah. fighting for the ball. Oh, wow. Ella just hit it out of bounds right there. But it gives Whitehall the ball. Not what you want to see from Reeves. A bit of a free possession there for Whitehall after just getting that rebound. So Lakeside up by seven right now. They're going to give it to uh, number three. She's going to drive. Call it a travel. Lakeside's ball. Sure it wasn't a walk? That was a travel. Hmm. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I get the reference now. So what is it? what's the time difference? Out, uh, time out, Whitehall. Uh, what's the difference between a travel and a walk? I'll look up the definition for you, dude. Uh, all right, brother. All right. Time out here by Lakeside. Now, with that underway, uh, David, do you have any uh, key takeaways from this game so far? Uh, you know, Lakeside needs to make sure Whitehall doesn't go on another run. This game has just been full of runs. Uh, the big run by Lakeside at the end of the half, and then the big run by Whitehall to make it a four-point game. Lakeside's been able to pull away slightly uh, and make it a little, a little more difficult for Whitehall to come back. But, uh, oh, you, do you have that definition ready for me? I do. So a travel and a walk are the same thing. So you were just being silly. I was. I was just pulling your leg. Uh, anyway, thank you to 
Final Touch yes, Roofing. Yes, Final Touch Roofing. We'll get some more information on them right now. Um, all right, yeah, so Final Touch Roofing, you know, they've been in business since 2001, locally based in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Uh, Final Touch Roofing pledges to provide you with excellent sh shingle, metal, flat, and stone-coated steel roofing uh, insulation and service at a fa fair price. Uh, they provide free detailed roofing estimates. Free, ladies and gentlemen. F-R-E-E uh, on the same day in most instances. All roofing installations come with a five-year labor warranty. Five years. And they also assist with manufacturer warranties. Thank you to Final Touch Roofing for that uh, sponsorship. Making this game possible right now. Here's Williams with the ball. Run around the defense to Reeves. Rogers, to Rogers. Stopsky, To Wilson. To Wilson! Bang! What? What a play there. I mean, that was great ball movement by Lakeside. Good golly. Makes it a nine-point lead. Yeah, to Williams, to Reeves, to Rogers, to Wilson. Oh, yeah. Woo! Mouthful. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, shot by number 15 is no good. Rebounded by Wilson. We'll save the timeout to do Lakeside some good here. Coming off hot. So, Williams over to Rogers. Bit of a foul. Going to be a blocking foul on uh, Whitehall. Good call. Good call. Rogers going to inbound the ball. Good call. Good call. Real good call. So, uh, yeah, Rogers inbound. Back to Williams. Man, this has been a really good game so far. Really good game for Lakeside. You know, coming in here as the underdogs, losing record. Playing the 7-2 and two Whitehall Lady yeah. Bulldogs. And this will make them uh, undefeated in a conference play. Conference opener. They're going to call a travel or a walk. Same thing on uh, Lakeside after that. That was more of a travel than a walk, really. Uh, yeah, well, she was on the ground. That's right. She was traveling. Not really walking. Here's Whitehall with the ball. Yeah, White Whitehall, they, they still got it. Uh, Barnett, still top key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A bit whoa. of a... Uh, that, another travel call by the refs. I mean, that was a strange-looking layup right there, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, she just belly flopped on the ground. That could not have felt good. You see Rodgers, uh, you know, a little bit out of breath. She has not gone out this entire game. Her and Williams. Her and Williams, you know, the two, two teams' top players. Look at that. Look, look at that duo. You, you, that's, that's Curry and Clay, LeBron and Wade. Almost Man. unstoppable. Williams going to drive down the right side. Ooh. Oh, hard foul. Hard oh, foul. I, I heard that fall from up here, you know, that oh, the hardwood. Ugh. That takes a lot to take that and still get up and shoot these free throws. Got to make sure you don't land on your joints, you know. That's where they get you. Yeah, yeah. Torn ACL. Just, just broken good job. kneecap. Good job by Williams. Just broken elbow. This ball game. Broken shoulder. Look at that. She's going to fall. Ankle. Get a hard foul, and she's still going to get those free throws. Uh, broken hip. So, Williams, she's still doing a great job so far. Broken femur, maybe. Just fighting. Fighting this whole game. It's been a dog fight so broken far. Broken neck. That's the bad one. Going to step in for Whitehall right now. Yeah. Dave, what are you saying? Oh, I was just yapping. Sometimes the yappers got a yap. Lakeside with an 11-point lead here, though. Big. Yes. Big time. Uh, and, you know, Lakeside, you don't want to get too high on yourself here because that happened at the beginning of the second quarter. Or third quarter, call it. And, uh, you know, Whitehall, they got a little momentum going. But uh, so that shot's not going to fall for Barnett. Scramble for the ball. Going to be Lakeside's ball. Down there in the low post. Huh. Uh, <laughs> Williams going to bring it up here. Back to Rogers. Screen set for Rogers. Williams going to chuck up a three. It is all oh, just in and out. I uh, doesn't get much more close than that. Ooh, they're going to call it Whitehall ball. Two Whitehall girls there. One, one Lakeside girl. Looks real close on whose ball or whose hand hit the ball last. Hey, it's all right though. So uh, legs line up by 11 here. Minute 36 left on in the uh, third hour clock. Right by Barnett is no good. Another in and out. Williams is going to drive it down the court. She's going to slow it down a little bit. Set her own pace. Grid drive again out to w Wilson in the corner. But it'll just be off the uh, back rim. Good shot selection right there. Wide open. Whitehall going to shoot a three. It is no good off the uh, backboard. 
Oh, wow. Oh, bit of a scramble here. Lakeside's ball after Barnett, though, for that one. Nearly got it. Yep. Wasn't able to hold on to it. Good presence right there. I believe number 32. That was uh, Christian Ingram. She's doing a good job out there at a uh, call it center, maybe. Look at Rodgers, just being a great teammate. Listen to Coach Williams. Uh, yep. One I want to mention, Coach Williams is actually Miss Williams' uh, father. Really? I, di I didn't. I never knew that. But uh, I mean, it's almost like they have the same last name. Th this is not daddy ball. I mean, she deserves to be there on the court. I mean, th this is a... Yeah, you know, the team's second leading scorer right behind Rodgers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, she's, she's, she's proven her worth on this team. I mean, they, they, they work very well together uh, as a good little duo out there. That they do. Whitehall's so, uh, going to inbound the ball. So it's going to remain Whitehall ball after that scramble. Barnett, top of the key. Ooh, Ooh. good little pickpocket by Williams. Number 15 is going to drive, but no foul. Oh, they will call foul. Yep, that's going to be two at the line. Looked a bit Number clean, 15. but uh, that's all right. Number 15, Layla Adams. You know, whenever I think of number 15 in Whitehall, you can't uh, help but forget uh, the legend of Ryan Mallett. Uh, I, I, I always get so sad when I think about the Whitehall season and what they've had to go through this year. Yeah, uh, no, a, lot, a lot of adversity is losing your coach at the beginning of the season. It's a very sad deal. But our yeah. prayers. Prayers to the whole Whitehall community. I mean, that, that had to be felt around the entire. Uh, and the Mallett family. Yeah, I mean, uh, the whole state of Arkansas, honestly. I mean, I, I wept when I heard the news. It was a very sad day. Very Williams going to throw up a three. Wow! No more weeping. Williams. Oh, my goodness. Good job by Williams. It's hot. That is a wide open three. Oh, my goodness. But that was from the logo. From the horn, baby. Who knows? Williams feel a little bit of confidence boost. Wow-wee. Oh, my. So Whitehall uh, still to inbound here. For three, it is no good. Rebounded by number 15, Layla Adams, like we were saying. She had those free throws earlier, and she did a great job of getting back there on the offensive board. Rogers going to take it down here. About 15 seconds left. Look to Williams. Williams just doing it all by her own. She's going to drive down the way. Going to take a foul. Lakeside uh, going to get two shots. Yeah, like I said, probably could have drawn out the clock a little bit more. Uh, game clock and uh, shot clock are on the exact same time. Could have drawn it out to maybe hit one at the buzzer. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Hey, you'll, you'll take points where you can get them. Take, take the free points. Nothing wrong with that. Williams' first free throw is good. Man, that, you know. She yeah. is uh, 16 on the night. 16. Don't, don't forget her. I mean, she's having a great performance, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Rodgers is highlighting it with 25. Rodgers uh, is just now coming out of the game. Get a little breather. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's 17 points for Williams. I mean, that's big. Make it 50 to 38, 12 point lead. See if Whitehall can do anything. Barnett gonna get a buzzer beater layup. Buzzer beater. Yep. Man, that buzzer beater was almost as good as Final Touch Roofing. It almost hit the roof like Final Touch Roofing. Yours wasn't as good as mine. Uh, Thank right. you to Final Touch Roofing for being our basketball sponsor. You know, I think I'll say it this time. Go ahead, David. We just want to give a big thank you to Final Touch Roofing for being the 2023-2024 Lakeside TV basketball season sponsor. In business, in business since 2001, Final Touch Roofing Incorporated pledges to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, and stone-coated steel roofing installation and service at fair prices. We provide free detailed roofing estimates free. on the same day in most instances. All roofing installations come with five-year labor warranty, and we also assist with, assist with manufacturer's warranties. I mean, that's that's the best roofing company that you can get. All right. Thank you, David, for taking my spot right there with that Final Touch roofing ad. Yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta let them cook. Yes, you do. Speaking of cook, Amelia Rogers is cooking right now. I mean, it, it, her and Williams, 25-17. Uh, I'm not sure what the assist total is between them, but um, no, Rogers may get a triple double here if she keeps it up. 
So, yeah, you know, Lakeside doing a good job on offense. Great job on defense, stopping a very dominant uh, Whitehall team. So, uh, yeah, Lakeside is doing very good going into the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Yeah, Lakeside's got the 10-point lead. Just got to hold on. Don't let Whitehall go on a run here. I think it's a very competitive game as we go towards the end. Eight minutes for the rest of this night. Can Lakeside do it? So uh, Barnett still leading uh, Whitehall in scoring, I believe, with 14. Pass out to the corner. It's going to be a two-point ball, but re rebounded by Barnett. Another rebound by Barnett. They call a foul on uh, 23. Lakeside Wilson. fans do not like that call. Questionable, really. A lot of controversial car calls tonight, but uh, it's going both ways, so that's just how the refs are calling it. Yep. So, uh, Barnett, first free throw is no good. Mark. Reeves checking in the game for Wilson. You know, Reeves has, has had a pretty good night as well. Has, she had a three-pointer earlier in the game. Had two steals back-to-back. -back. Yes, yes, she did. Helped in that lakeside run it that did. they went on in the second quarter. Barnett's second free throw is good, making a nine-point lead for Lakeside. Whitehall looks to be in the press now. Uh, Reeves is going to be open. So uh, Williams going to try and work it up court. She's not going to find a er, – she will. She will, will find a teammate. Ah, uh, you know, 32 there for Lakeside. She had two – Lady Rams wide open in the paint. You know, just trying to get it to him, but Whitehall was able to keep the pressure on. That is right. So inbounding now is uh, Nia Humphrey. She's going to find Christine Ingram. And, oh, my goodness, over to uh, Rogers. Looks like a flop, but uh, that was that was a rough fall. I mean, she she may have fought that one, and she, she earned oh, it. it was, I'm being uh, I'm being told by my partner Parker Hudnall in the corner, our uh, rules analysis or analysis that was a flop warning. Good pass by uh, well not a pass shot by Reeves went to Ingram. And assist it, from Reeves. Yeah, call, call, call an assist from Reeves. So uh, she's getting involved right, right there. So uh, you know we have uh, what's that 11 point lead now. Great job. Looks like it. Drive by number four for Whitehall is no good. She's going to get her own rebound. Going to be a double. Not up. Oh. Uh, like that's ball. Like that's ball. We'll cut it off there. Bamboozled so, uh, you a little bit by standing at the free throw line, didn't she? Williams to take it down the court. Got a man, man behind her. She's still going to put it up. Oh, my goodness. Williams is just doing... Doing what she needs down there. Just the underhands it, just tossing it right up into the basket, making it look easy. Like a basket. Uh, 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 all right. uh, Barnett to drive. Another floater is no good. Inbounded to uh, Williams. Excuse me, to Humphrey, then to Williams. Williams going to drive again. Another foul caught on Whitehall. Oh, no. They're going to call a charge on uh, Williams. Yeah, Williams came down there with the full head of steam. Slid on her stomach, almost face planting into the stands right there in the student section. Easy. Yeah, seven and now is There's number ten. Wrong with said. Ava Allison. Uh, that'll take Reeves out the game. But returning to play is Barnett and uh, I believe um, Adams leading uh, Whitehall scoring right now. Barnett going to chuck up a three. It is good from downtown. So yeah, she, wa she wants to be Amelia Rogers so bad. All right. <laughs> Nothing but net on that one. Great shot by uh, Whitehall there. Shot by Allison is no good. Nearly rebounded by Rogers, but initially uh, Whitehall ball still. I believe it hit the uh, – Baseline, baseline right there. Yeah, you know, ball just went straight out of bounds there. Oh, yeah. There ball. All right, so Barnett's still going to take it up court. Uh, she's going to look for number 13 inside. Good defense by Lakeside. Rebounded by Rogers. Wow. Ooh. He's getting scrappy towards the end. Uh, good hustle by Rogers right there. Yeah, Rogers took a nasty fall on her knees there, you know. That's why she wears those knee pads. Mm -hmm. Got to always protect those knees. 
The they joints, like you, like you were rambling about earlier. Them joints. Nope. Rambling. <laughs> Whatever. See Rogers explaining her uh, case to the ref. Oh, I believe it's going to be a timeout lakeside. Maybe regroup here. Talk it over, you know. Still got a 10-point lead. 10-point lead, a little bit under six minutes left. I mean, you don't want to get too cocky here. But, uh, Absolutely not. So Not for one second. Do, do you think we have enough time, David? Time for what? Final touch roofing. Uh, all right. I uh, want to give another big thank you to Final Touch Roofing for being the 2023 to 2024 Lakeside TV basketball sponsor. In business since 2001, Final Touch Roofing Incorporated pledges to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, stone-coated steel roofing installation and service at a fair price. They provide free detailed roofing estimates. Again, free detailed roofing estimates on the same day in most instances. All roofing installations come with a five-year labor warranty, and they also assist with manufacturer warranties. Mac, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you there. How much does it cost if I want to get if I want to get a detailed roofing estimate? Say it with me, David. Three, two, one, free. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, want to give another thank you to Final Touch Roofing, as well as our season sponsors, uh, Rockstar Wellness Clinic, National Park College, and Reliance Bank. But well, well, hold on, Mac. But usually, for since Final Touch Roofing is a local business, wouldn't they upscale their prices because they say it's local, so they can charge more? <laughs> oh no, David! Final Touch Roofing is better than the other companies. Do they give do, do they give fair and affordable prices to all? Yeah. Wow. So uh, <laughs> Ro Rogers, uh, Rogers, gonna take it at the cut the key. Pass to Williams, way downtown. Ooh, Ooh just in and out. Whitehall is gonna get the board. 13 is going to initially hit the board. Barnett going to take it down. Maybe start on her own here. Good pressure by Williams. Lockdown. Lockdown. She doesn't have anywhere to oh, go. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Looks like Williams got hit in the face from Barnett. A violent elbow thrown there by Barnett. Oh, man. You know, that, she, that is violent. It may not be classified as an elbow because she can play it off that she was just moving the ball, but... That we know what she meant. Let's see what the ref's going to call. You see those burger socks in the background. Lakeside's ball. No, uh, no tech. No, no, nothing major. But uh, good to see. Uh, call it a, a fa fair, fair and equal trial. Fair and equal trial. Trial. There you go. I'll tip my tongue. Man, that was a hard blow she took. That's Big Jack. Jack, an eighth grader right there. He's a uh, all great football player. In my sister's grade. Oh, good, good for gonna, you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Barnett's going to drive. She'll make that layup. Maybe getting some revenge from the last play. So, Adam, she's going to do it around. Over to Humphrey. Ooh. Out on right off. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Like that was out on right off from my angle. It's all right. Rest hey. saw it different. It's all right. Barnett still going to take it down. Good defense by Williams. Pressure by Humphrey. Going to be an air ball covered by Allison. Riders are going to try and slow down the pace. Screen set by number 32. Riders going to drive down the paint. Just wide open lane. Give you it know, 27. She just, said, she just made it past one person. Basically just wide open lane. 27 right on there. the night. 27. Impressive. Oh, boy. Let's see if you can get a 30 bomb. Looks like it retains their 10-point lead. Just trying to keep it right there. Oh, yeah. Called uh, two shots for Whitehall. Another foul on Lakeside. So uh, right now we have 425 less left in the game. Uh, yep. So shooting the free throws for Whitehall is number 10, Macy Lambert. 5'3", junior. Junior, excuse me. Hope that's the right person. Never know with bench preps. Boy. Lakeside subbing in Wilson. Yeah, on the court now for Lakeside is Rogers number three, uh, Wilson number twenty-three, Reeves number twenty-two, Humphreys number two, and number eleven. Did, did I say Williams or yeah, Williams? Number eleven, Williams. So. Good job. We're, we're, we're used to calling them by the last names just because it's a lot easier to pronounce while you're in the middle of the play. Yeah, and you know, last names are a little more uncommon than first names. Mm -hmm. You know, Humphrey. 
Not very common. Marlon Humphrey, number 44 for the Ravens. Sure, sure. Great corner. No relation, I don't think, but I doubt it. Russell Wilson for the Broncos now. Oh, out of bounds on uh, Whitehall. Or Wilson, famous character from movie Castaway. Yes. Great, great film. Yes, yes. No relation, I don't think, though. I love Raisin Canes. Uh, Rogers going to pass it to Wilson. Rogers like Aaron Rodgers. Oh. Famous quarterback. We got a lot of sports connections right here. On the New York Jets. Rogers pass out to Wilson. She's going to pump fake and drive you over to Rogers, just over her head. Yeah, you said Wilson again. That's actually uh, Williams. Oh. It's well, quite all right. What, what were you talking about? Oh, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Y y uh, it's all right. So, uh, 15 is going to drive. Good good little move you made right there to get through the lakeside defense. Cutting Lakeside's lead down to seven. Mm -hmm. Lakeside needs something here. Rodgers oh, wide open. Four and one. No one need her. Oh, my gosh. Caught a blocking foul on uh, Whitehall. And two Whitehall uh -oh. players are down. Uh-oh. Looks, Looks like, like we had a little collision. collision. Uh, don't want to show any of the action on court. Yeah, I hate, hate, hate to show an injury on film. Just going to wait. So, uh, Number 13 for Whitehall, able to make it back up to her feet. I believe it was Ramaya Freeman. Uh, number 13, she was initially taken out. And uh, at, look at, oh. There you go, number 15 for Whitehall, able to make it back up to her feet. And Not sure what that, uh, just looks like a little mid-court collision, you know, against two teammates. It's terrible. So uh, we're about to return to play after those injuries. Still going to take a long, long break time here. Out. Long time out here. Looks like we're going to try to get back some basketball. Hard to keep our uh, comedic uh, little tendencies. Yeah, during a moment like that. So uh, Very serious. Rogers going to take her two shots here after the foul. 3.46 left in the fourth quarter. As Lakeside's only up by seven, this could go down to the wire or yeah, through these, the wire. These, these free throws shots here are crucial. Yep. The first one's good by Rogers. Oh. Only giving her one shot there. I don't uh, believe it was an and one. I'm not sure uh, what the deal uh, was. Going to discuss it here. I only have two refs uh -huh. right now on the court. So it's just between them right now. Uh, actually three, but. Oh, no, I apologize. There's one on uh, the baseline. I, I just didn't see him. So Barnett still going to bring it up for Whitehall. She's going to drive right down the middle. Put up a floater. It's no good. Rebounded by Rogers. It's a floater. Rogers gonna just take it down by herself. Look for Humphrey in the corner. Low post, but taken by Whitehall. Pass to number three, wide open. But she's gonna Ooh. miss the layup. Wow. That's a shot they really needed to make. Williams gonna be double teamed, but she's gonna be fouled. Whitehall, Whitehall coach is very upset for that one. Oh, I think Lakeside has the bonus, so that's going to be two shots. Yeah, Williams really needs to knock these two down, make it, bring it back to a 10-point lead. 10-point lead's where, where, where they're going to stay comfortable. So uh, Lakeside not trying to really rebound right now. They only have one person, uh, Wilson, down there in the post. So, uh, Williams' first free throw is no good. Going to try and sink this next one. Let's see if she can. Bang! 
or bang, as Lucas Tuberville would say. Uh, that's going to make it 58-49. Lakeside still up by, call it nine right now. Williams having some good defense on Barnett. Barnett going to look for someone in the corner. Shot is no good. Airballed. Rebounded by Rogers. Rogers having a very great night tonight. Doing a little crossover half court. Look for Humphrey in the corner. Humphrey's going to throw up a three. Good pass to Reeves. But Reeves is going to pass to Rogers and foul on Rogers. Wow. Yeah. yeah, those first two were passes. Those were not shots. They may look like shots, but they were definitely passes, ladies and gentlemen. Well, call, call what you want to. It's still going to be uh, two free throws for Amelia Rogers. If Rogers is able to knock these two down, she will have 30 points in the night. That's 29 right there. Let's One see more. If get 30. One more for the big 30, Bob. I, I don't want to jinx it, but you know, it, you just got to be aware. Shh, shh, shh. Bang! Bang! Man, Bang. Amelia Rogers has 30, half the points of the entire team tonight. 30 of the 60. That's crazy. So uh, Barnett still going to bring it up for Whitehall. Look for someone in the corner. Very similar to the last possession. Good defensive pressure by Humphrey. But they're going to call a foul. Man, I oh. great job by uh, Lakeside. Uh, just a whole night playing defense, really. Playing nice, tough, physical defense. Oh, and, yeah. You know, it, it may have led to a, a lot of trial, a foul trouble towards yep. the uh, yep. towards the beginning, but it's really proven to work out for them tonight. Going to be a travel on uh, Whitehall. Nope. Uh, or travel. 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 travel walk, same thing. Same thing. All right. Uh, Williams to Rogers to Williams to Rogers. A lot of last names. But their last names. Uh, so, yeah, Williams going to take it herself down the lane. Bang! Bang! Smooth. Smooth like butter. 22 points for Williams in the night. Her and Rogers are a lethal duo. That's uh, 52 points between the two of them. Rogers is going to take it down herself. Why not? Put it up, Rogers. Bang! 32. Williams and Rogers alone would be outscoring, uh, excuse me, Whitehall right now. That is wild. Man. Barnett going to throw it down. Recovered by Wilson. Rogers, a minute 43 left in the game. So they're going to probably try and wind this one down, maybe. Wilson for three. Good! Nothing oh by net! Great well, shot by Wilson. Well, thank you, ma'am. As Lucas Tubber would say. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, but once again, great shot by Wilson right there. Stepping up and finding the uh, open spot on the court. Good block by Molly Reeves, but they're going to call a foul. Man. Yeah, yeah. Lakeside like like starting to run, run away with this one late. Yep. 18-point lead, 120 left to go. I mean, throughout this game, you know, they maybe started off a little bit slower than, uh, you know, we would initially thought. But, I mean, they, they sped it up quick. Yeah, they're, they're running the second ha uh, second quarter. Really, really made it work for them. They run, yeah. uh, they run right here late in the, uh, late in the game. That, that might be something we see, you know, a little bit slower to start in the first and third quarter, but really fast those uh, second and fourth quarters. Yep. So uh, the second free throw is no good for Whitehall. Going to be 67 to 50, 17 point lead. Rogers getting triple teamed. She's going to pass it to the corner to Humphrey. Humphrey's going to drive, put it up. Uh, going to be a quick miss, but Whitehall ball. Yeah, Humphrey took a shot there from under the goal. Can't get much success. From there, yeah, that's just a tough shot, uh, but shouldn't affect the outcome too much. Ooh, uh, 107 left on the clock. I think both teams have the bonus right now, so any fouls will result in uh, free throws. At the line now is number 21, Jayla Sit, Jayla Stith, I believe. We're going to knock down these good. two. Two free throws are good. Side number 32 is uh, Christian Ingram for Humphreys. Humphrey. You know, I think the real difference maker tonight, I think, well, excuse me, I'll, I'll get to that point later. Yeah, it's all right. Going to be uh, still Lakeside's ball as Williams is almost wolfed down on that uh, possession. 
Anyway, a real difference maker tonight has been Whitehall's ability to knock down the free throws. They've had many, oh, yeah. many, many chances to get three points off the free throws. And I think this would have been a very different game if they could have knocked them all down. Oh, yeah. Taking it down the way with number five for Whitehall. She'll miss the layup. Uh, but it's going to be Whitehall's ball. Reeves tried to grab the inbound, or the rebound, excuse me, right there. Couldn't get it. So Lakeside still by 15 here with 52 seconds left in the quarter. Three point by Whitehall is good. Make it 12 points. Rogers with the ball. Looking for someone downfield, but she's going to take it herself. Trying to run this clock out. Wilson to Rogers. Rogers going to put up a three. Why not? Oh my goodness. Nothing 35. but net. 35. Nothing 35. But net. 35. Oh my goodness, Rogers. Yeah, Rogers' three point percentage this game is going to be off that the charts. That is wild. Man. I mean, this is a game where, like, they really needed Rogers to step up, and she did. Oh, wow. Like, Wilson and uh, Whitehall player are going to square up, but nothing bad is going to happen. Whitehall nearly clearing the benches, getting a little chippy towards the end. Yeah. The Lakeside with the commanding lead. Not much you can do. Yep, yep. When, you know, when you have nothing to lose, but you have everything, everything to gain. Everything to gain. That's when you're, the, you're you know, the most dangerous. Everything to lose, nothing to gain from that. That's that's when you're the most irritable. That is true. So, uh, 14 seconds left in this uh, fourth quarter. This game, I should say. And Lakeside, like you said earlier, they're just running away with it. Great performance by... Uh, Amelia Rogers tonight, 35 points. Just a great performance by her. But you also, you cannot forget number 11, Mackenzie Williams. She had 20, 22 on the night. So they, uh, they both combined for more points than Whitehall, like you said earlier. Yeah, that's just a great, great performance by your top two players there. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Williams right now is feeling very proud of his team and his daughter. Uh, and, and, and very relieved, I think. You know, this game probably gave him a lot of stress. Yeah, yeah. Coming in, you know, a lot to prove. You're three and four. You're going up against a team that's seven and two. You're you're capable of beating them, but you know, you don't know if you will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was a great job by uh, Lakeside just coming out of here, uh, not not really caring about the records of the team, and just playing their type of ball, and it worked this game. Yeah, you, know, you see, Coach Williams uh, still still yelling. Uh, even when the game's all but over. You know, it reminds me of that Nick Saban uh, video where he's yelling at his players when they were up, I believe, 50, 56 to nothing. So uh, that, that's a good mentality. for. That's what you want to see in a coach. Yep. Just still pushing your players even when the game is won. All Not but caring done. if the score is 50 to 0 or 20 to 21, you know. Yep. Got to give it your all. So Williams is going to get the ball first. He's going to give it to Reeves, then to Rodgers. Rodgers is looking to find someone open. But it looks like they're just going to run this clock out. Uh, but we have a foul uh, with one second exactly left on the clock. So let's see if uh, Whitehall can get 14 points in this one second. Or if uh, I, I'm, I'm just kidding. They're not going to do that. Yeah, but let's not joke like that. All right. Sorry. I'm sure they're very upset. Losing is a fun. Shot is no good. So Lakeside wins it. Oh, my goodness. 70 to 56. What a heartbreaker. All right. Not uh, for, oh. <laughs> All right. So Lakeside that are coming out on top here. Uh, making it 4-4 four and four on the season. Uh, so 1-0 in conference play. 1-0 in conference play. So it's a great way to start the season for the Lady Rams. And I'm Max Story. I'm David LaSalle. And we'll be back for the next women's volleyball game very soon. God bless and go Rams. All me, boy. Let's go. Let's go.